Operations resumed at Johnston Island and Christmas Island during Operation Dominic. The United States negotiated the use of Christmas Island from the British, who had used the island to conduct their own thermonuclear tests. Multi-megaton nuclear weapons were loaded aboard B-52 strategic bomber aircraft, delivered from Hawaii, and airdropped off the south end of Christmas Island. The Department of Defense continued its advance into space by conducting five high-altitude tests above Johnston Island. Most of these bombs were carried aloft by the Air Force's Thor missile to continue the research of neutralizing incoming enemy warheads high above the Earth. Nuclear weapon testing had joined the space age.
This small step toward safety can be followed by others, longer and less limited, if also harder in the taking. <coughs> With our courage and understanding enlarged by this achievement, let us press onward in quest of man's essential desire for peace. As President of the United States, and with the advice and consent of the Senate, I now sign the instruments of ratification of this treaty. Tightrope was the last atmospheric test ever conducted by the United States, and it was fired from Johnston Island in a Nike Hercules air defense missile and detonated again well above Johnston Island. And that ended this whole series of atmospheric testing by the United States. When, in 1963, we entered the limited test ban treaty that prohibits any atmospheric testing. Thank you.